Hey everybody and welcome back to another how to video. I just want to show you guys how to install the hater built safely. Um, a big shout out to this creator as we've been using this truck a lot recently and really been enjoying it. So first thing I want to do is come over to his YouTube channel. He does uh, make videos and whatnot so feel free to check that out. But uh, I'll put a link to this particular video in the description down below and then once you come over here you're going to want to scroll down until you find the link to uh, share mods. That's the one we're going to use in this video and uh, we'll show you guys how to do it here. So once you get to this link here, click that. And then it's going to take you to a page like this. Now, there's going to be all kinds of stuff telling you to click everywhere and all kinds of extensions and whatnot. It's going to want to install, but you don't want to do that. So first thing you want to do is just click download link right here. And if it opens up another page, just close that out. You don't want to anything to install. So bring it back to this page. Wait a second. Let the ads run. Click it again. And, and now you'll get the, uh, the countdown. So wait for that countdown. Man to finish and then click it again. And here we go. So now it's going to bring you over to this page here. You're just going to want to scroll down, see if it opens up another extension. Just close it out. Go back to the main share mods there. Now it's going to take me here again. Nope. All right. And you're just going to, to scroll down to where it says start download. So anytime that uh, stuff pops up or extensions or anything like that, just close it out. Do not install it. Don't click anywhere else on the uh, share mods uh, website here. You're just going to click start download. My goodness. It's going to give me another one of those. Start download. So here we go. Once we get to this point, guys, this is what you're going to download. It is an, uh, an RER, so you're going to want to download that. Um, if uh, if it don't ask you or prompt you where to put it like mine does, then uh, you're just going to want to go ahead and uh, find it ultimately. So once you have done that, or this pops up down here, it'll start downloading it, and then click show in folder. And then, uh, then you know exactly where it's putting it. As you can see, I put it in this folder. So... We'll leave it in there and let it download, and once it's done downloading, I'll show you guys the rest of it. Once it's done downloading, you guys, you can click on this here and hit show in folder, and then that will show you exactly where it's at. Um, it's going to be in a zipped format, so if you don't have any way to open it up or look inside of it, you're going to want to download WinRAR or 7-Zip. I'll put links to those in the description down below. Um, either one should work, but uh, it wouldn't hurt to have them both um, on your computer anyway, so... If one don't work, just download them both. Um, once you've done that, you're going to want to open up or find your ATS mod folder. So we're going to go in here. Generally, it's in your documents. And you'll come in here and see American Truck Sim. Go in there, and you'll see a mod folder. Now, if you do not have a mod folder and you haven't never downloaded mods, you can either load up your game and launch Steam and just download a Steam Workshop uh, mod to create yourself a mod folder, or you can just create a mod folder yourself. Just label it MOD, all lowercase. So we're going to open that up here, and uh, this will be where your mods are located your uh, third-party mods ultimately so we're gonna take uh, the hater built we don't have to drag it over here but I'm just gonna drag and drop that in here and now we're gonna go ahead and uh, right click on that and then click on open and then that's gonna open up another window here so let me get this over here so you can see all right so now that we open that up and looked we can see all the stuff inside of it all right so what i use is mainly the hater built and the led light pack so this is the hater built right here scs file that's what you're going to want to click on click that drag and drop it into your ats mod folder and uh, it'll do that just give it a second all right once done that um, i also use the led mega pack for his truck as well so we're going to click that and drag and drop it in here and there we go. So you don't have to leave this in there. You can. It ain't going to hurt nothing. But I'm just going to leave it in there now. And we'll load up the game. And I'll show you guys how to get the truck in your game. Alright. So once our game is loaded up, you guys, you're going to want to go into your mod manager ultimately to activate this mod. So just go in here. Um, let's say old profile. So let me just take out all these. There we go. Alright. And uh, the hater belt should be somewhere in here. So it's going to scroll down until I find it. And you can always search it as well. Keep that in mind. So right down here is Hater Built. Now we're going to activate this and this. Now I have done testing with a lot of mods. The Hater Built does like to be um, higher priority. It seems like it works better. But mod order all depends on what mods you're running and how you like your mod order. So once we have done that, we're going to confirm changes. And we're going to jump in the game now. And I'll show you where to find this truck. Alright, so once you're in your profile, you're going to want to go ahead and go to uh, Truck Dealership. Let's go to truck dealership. All right, you're not going to click on any of these. You're going to go to the bottom right here and click access mod dealer. So once you have done that, you'll see the hitter built right in here. Click on it, and then you can customize it. Configure it however you want. This truck is a really fun truck. I've built 
I think maybe around 10 or so, but it's a really fun truck. You can do a lot of stuff to it um, as far as uh, Peterbilt 389, 379, 359. There's a lot of different Peterbilt parts you can use to, uh, to build your truck, but that's how you ultimately download and install it, you guys. I hope you guys have as much fun with this truck as I do, and uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Myself or anyone in the community will be glad to answer your comment, and uh, if you got any more videos you'd like to see me make, feel free to let me know as well. But you guys have a good one out there. Enjoy the road, and I'll see you in the next video.